So right now we're seeing a lot of people highly concerned about what's happening in Australia, like the changes that's going on. You know, people are WhatsApping each other, putting things on Facebook, Instagram, you know, very, very concerned about their children. But what we need to be asking everybody is, what are you actually doing to help your children? Like, what I, one of the common things I do find in our community, we always expect everyone else to come and ste step up and do something. But many, rarely do we find that, you know, we ourselves realise we've got a responsibility. What about our own individual responsibility? One of the things we do desperately need right now are people to step up and take that role of teaching scripture in these public schools. So we've got to realise there are, there are so many kids out there in our community, they don't even have practising parents to teach them about Islam. So if we're not stepping up and taking that role of getting into the schools and teaching scripture and being part of our ummah and realising we all have a responsibility, we all have mass uliyah towards our ummah and towards the next generation in our ummah. And all it takes is half an hour from your time a week. Can I remember years ago, I actually, when I first reverted to Islam, I actually used to teach scripture in some of the public high schools. It's literally like you're a light in that school. You're coming into that school, you get so many non-practicing Muslims attending your scripture class. You've got to realise, imagine that you are, the, you know, inshallah, a sabab, or you are a reason or a means for one of these young people, you know, to either come back to Islam or to even enter Islam. Just imagine your reward in this life and the next if, that, if you're the cause for that to occur inshallah. So we look at the, what the Prophet said, he said Man dalla ala khayr, falahu mithlu ajri right? That whoever calls to a goodness, they will have the reward of the one who, who uh, acted according to what he had called to, right? So imagine that you're the cause inshallah of a young kid that you've given scripture to, who's gone and started praying, they've gone and started fasting, they've gone and started doing all these righteous deeds. And then imagine you coming on your maqiyama and finding all this hasanat in your scale. And then you come on the day of resurrection and you find in your scales of hasanat all of these a'mal, all of these deeds that these kids have done due to what you had called them to. Bi'idnillahi ta'ala.